To think that even Colonel was defeated. I did not expect things to turn out like this. But my plan will continue to move forward. A certain thing will happen tonight. If it's successful. <laughs> Lan, Mega Man, come to me. It will be just like that one time. The end of the world is here. <laughs> but the control system, she had better come back soon. According to my calculations, we can move shortly. All sorts of machinations going on. Hey, Land, do you know why Mr. Mock's not coming to school? Oh, I want to know why, too. Land, do you know, you know something, don't you? I don't know anything. Mr. Mock's probably got a problem he's got to deal with. Huh, is that right? I can't just tell Mo Mr. Mock's a part of World 3. What was that? Oh, hi, guys. Hi! How is everyone today? You guys! You're the X-World 3 people that joined up with the mayor, right? X-World 3? Stop calling us that! We are a very old crime organization now, thank you. Our name is... all together now? Huey Gus Lovelies! The Justice Club! Cloudy Bombers! Yeah, they... <laughs> What's with you? I thought we agreed on my name! And just what's so lovely about us? That's so girly! And since when were you the leader? I'm superior to all of you, therefore it is only natural. You guys can't do anything, so I'm gonna give you a hand. You should be bowing to me and calling me Queen Yuika. Um, we're in the middle of a mission, so please calm down. After all, we, the Justice Club, have to act as a team. You because lovelies! Cloudy Bombers! I don't care what your team name is. What do you want? Oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot why we came here. Then Akari, we came here to ask you a few questions. Questions? What? Well, that's it? Yep, yep. Where is your little girlfriend? Girlfriend? You know, that girl that saved you from Colonel and Skytown. You, know, you mean Iris? I don't know what you're up to, but I'm not going to tell you where she is. Uh, just as we thought you won't answer. I figured it wouldn't make this easy. I usually don't... I don't act, I usually like to be rough with people, but... Judge Man! Sir! What? What? Greetown's Punishment Robots?! But why are they here? Uh... <laughs> you know, even there were more of you, you do really think you could fight this many bots and save your friends? You're not gonna make fools of us this time. Now, wouldn't you want to see your friends get hurt? Would ya? Now, nah. so hurry up and tell us where the girl is. I don't know where she is. Maybe Punishment Robot could gently help you remember. Ah! Well? Oh, see, the lift of yours might be a little looser now. Hmm, I guess you really don't know. Punch my robot, stop. Leon! But how can you not know? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Let us take Mega Man again, if you don't mind. Hold it! Don't you lay a finger on Land! We'll protect Landy with everything we have. Oh, I'm so touched by the friendship that I'm crying. Punch new robots, give these boys what they deserve. I am here. Let the others go. How nice, the girl came out of hiding by herself. All right, girlie, you're coming with us. Punishment robots. Don't try any funny business or you'll get hurt. I will not resist. Please remove these robots. And if I say no, Punch those robots, step aside. Okay? Well, what are you doing? You're not supposed to move on your own! Hurry up and surround her! What's with them?
Lan, I'm sorry. All right, I'm ready to go. Uh, you're the type of person I hate the most. You're so full of courage. Ugh. Yep. Ugh. Lan, are you okay? Where are they? Uh, uh, what? I just got what? I'm sorry, Lan. We couldn't do anything. Doesn't matter. We, we've got to help her now. Um. So do we have Lewis where they went? Ah, uh, we don't know, Lan. We they could be anywhere by now. Yeah. Oh, hey. Ah, uh, never mind. What? What did you th did you think of something? No, it's just that. Well, we're running out of time, Tab. Spit it out. I don't know if this is a clue or anything, but on the internet there's this BBS that all got all sorts of info. Or at least that's what I've heard. Most of the stuff is pretty bad things, so I was wondering maybe we could find something there. Of course, the internet! It's so obvious, I'm sure I'll find something there. I'm gonna go take a look. But the internet is dangerous! We've been there several times! Cool your jets! I can't sacrifice Cyrus's life because it's dangerous! I'll be alright! I'll get her back! Man. Alright. But be careful, okay? Okay, everything's okay now, but you can't be prepared since you never know what might happen. Alright, whatever. <laughs> now I don't want to talk about it anyway. So, what is the, uh... Oh, hi! Who are you? I've never seen you before! What are you doing here? Get lost! Okay, looks like we're fighting our way through the internet here. And a good thing I just switched out of my uh, folder somewhat here. I'm blast my way through all these mets here. Pretty easy. Yeah, I got the air hockey and uh, made the, a couple of uh, a wave uh, uh, those, those wave arm guys. Uh, my. Uh, my tag ships. Alright. Killing dudes on the way over. Good to know. Okay, so... Which... That worked fantastically. Not being graded here. You guys don't really want me going to the bulletin board, don't ya? Are all these guys the uh, the former uh, the former cult members? Because I think that's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that went perfectly. Oh, hi, guy. I wonder what the people from the other side walk, just walked in like they own the place. Okay, so we're following the guys, huh? Do I have the ability to get rid of that that kettle? Okay, so that Yep. Hmm, you have to do something about that guy, maybe with a tornado when he comes into my area. There we are, that worked. So glad we're not being graded here. Sorry, your bees ain't helping you. 
How many more of these guys do we have to fight? I think we go to the skull. Yep, we we'll go to the skull for the bolden board. Oh. I'm... I think I have an idea of how to do this. I just want to make sure... Ah, well, I, I can make my way back. Out of wasted that. Hmm. All right, dog. One's down. Just have to, to take care of Bright Eyes number two. Whatever. I got some chips. Okay, Bolden Board System. Okay, probably go to the top of this. World 3 people. Seems that World 3 is behind a service at Cyber Academy. Now they're at the Sky Town Administration Building. I don't know what they're after, but they make me sick. Cool! We know where they are. So would it so we're exactly the uh would that be like where Mr. Weather is or on the top of the building Who really knows? They They're probably in front of the <laughs> the Mr. Weather guy, because those guys aren't too smart. They'll probably just be nabbed by Mr. Weather just like the the guy was before. But this time, I don't think Colonel's gonna just save him. All right, what's going on here, pal? Okay, you're you got vertigo, huh? All right. Eh. Yeah, okay, you're no help. Anything on here that we would like? Nope. You have you seen anyone? E experimental folder. Interesting. Sure, you probably even give me some more chip data that I never got. Let's see what this folder is all about, anyway. Oh yeah, I've got to. Uh... Yeah, I guess. Quite a few things that I hadn't got before. And uh, upgraded boss chips that I don't e that I didn't even bother going for. <laughs> All right, then let's find these chuckles. Hi. Nope. Okay, so it's not by Mr. Weather. Gotta be around here somewhere. On top, then? That's the only place I can think of. Scoured this entire place except for the top of the building. Seriously, the fact that the even criminals are tracking them to show they're not too, uh, too smart. What the crap are they? Yeah, I'm there, but I'm just having trouble finding out where they are.
I don't know, maybe on the... I'm just searching wherever. Okay, nope, not by the sub. The chip trader, maybe behind? Mr. Leather, where the crap? Okay, so there's gotta be up here somewhere. We are there. Oh, lotto number, I'll put that in my, uh, you put it in. Let me just take a picture of that, actually. So I can put it in the number trader in, in, um, in my leisure time. Okay, and zoom and get. Whoops. Okay. In here somewhere? I don't know. Observation computer. I am not seeing a damn thing. We are freaking. Wait a minute. Would it be. Oh, I switched over to these. I guess I. <laughs> I get to uh, have some fun with. with Okay, that was sufficiently powerful. Let me just switch over to my regular folder. So this is the administration building. Is is the administration building at the bottom of the elevator? Are they... And I forgot about it? I think that's the case. Let me just first, like... Put my own folder. Nope. Where is it? Okay, this area, so... Wait! Hehe! <laughs> Iris, was it? Isn't she cute, Beryl? I don't know how you know each other, but you don't look like the invisible Beryl now! <laughs> Iris. <laughs> don't worry, Beryl. She's just taking a nap, you know, like a sleeping beauty. Never thought I'd just see the day when you're so helpless. Until now, you've been pretty snobby, ordering the rest of around. I hate when people tell me what to do. Don't think ill of us, Beryl. I had to think things through many times, but in the end, I chose to go with them. No offense, but if we let you go, we... Back to Dr. Wiley, then you tell him you're coming for his precious side beast. You guys, throw Beryl into the sea. Wait! Let Iris and Beryl go! Let... Corey. <laughs> what a persistent little brat. Stop where you are. Don't take another step. Get any closer and your girlfriend goes bye-bye into the sea. The sea is real famous for its high tides. I wonder what would happen to her if she fell in. <laughs> you get the picture, don't you? Ugh. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and throw Beryl in. All right, all right, I got it. I don't dirty my hands with this sort of thing usually. Stop! Someone please help Beryl! You're so silly. There's no one around. No one's going to help you this time. And sometimes someone does come. Yo, Mark! You still treat me like a teacher. It's the traitor. What do you want? Traitor. Which one of us is the real traitor? And what's this? There's only three of you. I guess failures are destined to continue to fail. You're one annoying loudmouth popping out from nowhere. Now I'll throw you into the ocean along with Beryl. You've already forgotten. I was always the strongest side of all of us. Yuika. And Beryl and Yuka to... Uh, Again, I read that entirely wrong. Yuika, hand Beryl and the girl over to me now. I don't want anything bad to happen to that girl. <sighs> I'll remember this, and I'm sure those two will over there will too.
Mr. Mock. Mr. Mock, huh? I'm glad he's still thinking of me as a teacher. But, Lan, I don't deserve to be treated like that. As long as I'm a member of World 3, I'm just a horrible man who tricks his students. But you're not real evil in your heart. I think I sort of understand. You have a reason, so that's why you're doing this, right? My daughter was born with a bad illness. And she needed a very big operation, or she would die. But that operation was very expensive, so we didn't do it. Just as the illness seemed to be subsiding, she suddenly fell very ill again, and needed the operation. Around that time, a man came and paid for the operation. That man was Dr. Wiley. So he made you join World 3 for the operation. Yes, and while I was teacher at Cyber Academy, I spied on Kane and reported everything to Dr. Wiley. Mayor Kane? Kane and Dr. Wiley were working together. You knew that, didn't you? So I was spying on Kane because he couldn't be trusted. On your first day of school, that incident with Blast Man? That was because I was trying to hack Kane's computer. But I failed because you stopped Blast Man. But now I think about it, maybe it was a good thing. If you hadn't defeated Blastman, then all my beloved students could have lost their lives. Anyway, no reason to give a race all the things I've done. Why don't you uh, and Beryl join me and fight Dr. Wiley? It's not too late. I'm sorry, I can't join you. What World 3 is the did is the only reason she is alive now. World 3 is a criminal organization, yes. But to me, it is my daughter's savior. And I have to think about Beryl. Beryl? How do you know Beryl, Mr. Mock? When I was a college student, I stayed in Utopia for a while to learn karate. And I was looking for strong people to fight, and I found the Natopia team captain. And I fought him one on one. <laughs> I thought I was great, being my college's champion. But I was beaten. It was so embarrassing. That person? Yep. That was Beryl. After the fight, I asked him for a favor. I asked him to train under him for a whole year, but I didn't want to learn uh, only about how to fight. I want to learn how to have faith in myself, in life. That's what I really wanted to learn, and he took me in. We're close in age, so that's why Barrow gained my trust. And that's why I believe in him now. That's why I can't betray him. I'm sure Barrow has his own reasons for joining World 3, but he just can't tell me. Mr. Mock, what will you do now? I wanted to be with everyone at graduation, but no. I knew it would turn out like this after I joined World 3. I probably won't ever see you ever again. Mr. Mock, don't go! Take care, my blue as a student. And then Mr. Mock and Beryl left. Maybe if I were a little older, I could have done something. But as a kid, all I could do was say goodbye. After Mr. Mock and Beryl left, I brought Iris back to school. I had to get back fast or Mick and Ted would be worried. Oh, Lan! I'm so glad you made it back safe! We were so worried about you! Sorry to make you worry. Mick, Tab, I was worried about Iris. I wasn't worried about you at all. Yeah, that's not what your face says. Shut up! Thanks for saving us that time, Iris. If you hadn't come, I don't know what would have happened. And that was neat how you repelled the punishment of robots with just one word. Did you repel the robots? Yeah, well, look, let's go home, okay? I'm mad hungry. Yeah, me too. It's about time to go home. Lan, uh, yeah. You want to go home with us, Iris? I, I have something I have to do. E Iris, just who or what are you? Um... Uh, don't take it the wrong way. I'm not trying to pry. I've thought a lot about you. Like, I just don't know anything about you. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. But we're friends, right? 
you tell me what's wrong, then I think I could help you a little. I mean, it not it hard to do everything by yourself? Thank you, Lan. Uh, uh, what did you say? Nothing. Thank you. You're the first person to call me a friend. Iris. Hey, Lan, what are you doing? I'm gonna ditch ya! Okay, okay, I'll be right there. Well, I gotta get going. If you ever want to talk, just let me know, okay? Okay. Alright, see ya! Yeah, that was cute. It's like, it's just... I was feeling a little happy about herself there. And I think that'll do it for this episode. So if you like this one, hit the like button, comment on it, subscribe, and hit that bell. So until next time, see you later.